Hello and welcome to the exciting episode of New 2 Vero 2. I'm your presenter, Shabu Ryu. We're kind of taking a break from anything retro, whether it be games or toys, to showcase and highlight um, something near and dear to my heart, the scooter. <laughs> a lot of people hear that and they think, oh my God, a slow poke. Um, but actually, that's the thing about scooters. They have a bad rap. Usually we get stuck behind one, it's like, oh crap, you're doing 20 to 30 miles per hour at tops. But little did you know that they make higher end scooters with a lot more CCs. For example, the one I have is 150 CCs and it could go up to 70 miles an hour. Um, and which is funny is because like, you know, you'll sneak up behind a Harley guy and they first they'll look back and they're like ah scooter and they'll keep going the next thing they look back and i'm like right behind them they're like what the hell and then i'll punch it and i'll go right right by them and of course they lay down the throttle and then annihilate me because they'll have probably 800 and 900 cc's and i you no, know, i can't keep up with that but initially i get them and that's that's the funny look is when they like look back and they do that double take so this quick video is just going to showcase a quick spin around the block and the fun it is to own a scooter and especially here in florida like you know it is the perfect vehicle there uh, you know there are pros and cons to everything in life and there are pros and cons to two wheel versus a four wheel um i've took the scooter in all week to work to and from work and it's been an interesting experience. Uh, initially, when I showed up, my coworkers were like, what the hell? And then by the end of the week, they're like, man, this thing is cool as hell. How do I get one? So um, it's a pleasant surprise. And it's something that I think a lot more Americans, especially if you live in the South or someplace that's, you know, um, and you don't have that far of a commute to go or just run around the corner. Um, I have like, I guess uh, two places for storage you'll see so there's ample room in it and uh, again it's a very manageable speed and it's a thrill to ride uh, my wife and I love going for a spin on it and you know I originally started on a ninja way back in my my youth I sound like an old fogey but uh, when I was younger I had a Kawasaki ninja and uh, that bike was a starter bike it was only 250 cc's but you know it was you know it was a great learning bike and i think that's what has helped me on the scooter is like having that experience as a motorcycle rider i'm not a motorcycle guy i'm not all about it i mean i just i enjoy the ride you know and i think that's one of my relaxing besides collecting things um toys and games the other thing is i love cars you know that's how I actually got started in YouTube. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here's a look into the world of the scooter. Stick around. Take it off. Basically, um, this scooter is 150 cc, so I can do um, up to 70 miles per hour. Um, it's funny because I actually use like high octane gas, and uh, you know everything has been kind of like slightly tweaked to maximize the output on this little thing. But the ride is comfortable, smooth. Um, you'll be pleasantly surprised on what this thing could do. I'm just doing a little tour around the uh, street. Just to uh, give a showcase, but... I mean, it's a wonderful thing. I've been using it all week to commute, to work and back. The turn. I need to get one of those. 
goddamn GoPros. But anyway, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna do anything stupid, but it's a great thing. And I think like scooters should be more popular in the United States, but unfortunately they get a bad rap because usually it's like some old person or some really young kid with a 50cc little thing that's blocking traffic. But if you go up to the higher end scooters, I mean, that's where the real beauty is. You got scooters that, you know, can keep up with highway traffic and are easy and effort. I mean, you have to have some skill, I have to be honest with you. Like, I, I've seen like old people like, oh, can I get a scooter? And I'm like, no, you can't do it. Like, you know, you have to have some sense of savvy and, you know, an overall bike. It's good, like, if you're an ex-bike, uh, an ex-biker and you switch to a scooter because you have the fundamentals down as far as, like, what to look for and how to behave. So, uh, that's definitely a plus. Go out for a little spin. Traffic. Life don't get much better than this, man. It's one of the best purchases of all time. Getting a scooter. And that's the video.